Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. Now Daniel's rise to Britain's most wanted criminal came as a shock to a number of people. 21 year old Daniel Khalif had a twin sister and was raised to a middle class parents in Richmond Park. Now stigmas and labels such as terrorist are usually associated with people whom are hermits or a recluse or struggle with identity issues and betrayal or even social norms. However, according to friends and family, Daniel lived a relatively carefree life. He was said to have a healthy bank balance while serving in the army. £20,000 bank balance according to a woman he had tried to impress at the local Weatherspoons when he was on leave. He was also popular and had a good group of friends despite having an ego and also being self-righteous. He attended Teddington School, which was a good school. Now more than being an academic, Daniel Khalif was athletic, excelling in sports, even being given the nickname Bolt. He treated everyone with respect, especially children and the elderly, and being raised by a Lebanese dad and an Iranian mom, values such as respect and family were fundamental in the household. Now Daniel had only been to Iran twice and he had no specific ties to the country. He was British through and through. Now at 16, Daniel Khalif decided to join the army rather than study for his A-levels. He became a computer specialist and was part of the 22 Signal Regiment at Beacon Barracks near Stafford. However, Daniel soon became curious, inquisitive and also secretive. He used his computer skills to gather specific information that could be used to cripple the army if it was to get into enemy's hands between May 2019 and January 2022 from an MOD computer system. This meant that Daniel Khalif breached the official secret act. Now for some reason, he then planted fake bombs at the barracks in January of this year, before leaving and then going AWOL for a month, before being captured. So Daniel Khalif was then eventually detained, and after investigation, he was then sent to Wandsworth Prison while being on remand, and was due to stand trial on November 20th of this year, for terrorism charges and also breaching the secret act. But eventually, he became Britain's most wanted criminal for roughly 72 hours when he escaped from Wandsworth Prison. Now, friends, family, police are still struggling to find the answer to why did Daniel Khalif, a person who loves his country, Britain, Great Britain, turn his back and become a terrorist? Stay safe, safe.